Welcome back. As you can see, there are less than 12 hours left to the first release of Flagship Game. Flagship Game will be officially released tomorrow morning during an event taking place in Rome. We are still integrating the contribution received by other participants of the crowd coding experiment and uh, in the last session uh, we, um, we obtained the first playable version of the game which is shown here in the emulator. This version shows the flags in the grid, allows us to tap on them, shows the name of the country the flags belong to and uh, a small number close to each flag, each tapped flag showing uh, the order in which it was tapped. If we tap a wrong flag, meaning that uh, it uh, is not uh, a flag which uh, comes in the alphabetical order after the previous ones, then the flag disappears and it does not contribute to the score, otherwise uh, it uh, provides a contribution to the score which is uh, um, obtained by multiplying the previous score by the number of uh, correct taps uh, up to that point so that the maximum achievable score uh, is uh, the factorial of the number of uh, uh, flags in the grid which is uh, 16 factorial and in general the score is computed as a factorial of the number of correct taps on the other hand, there is also time, and uh, as time elapses, uh, the um, score is uh, multiplied by the seconds left in the first minute and divided by the seconds exceeding the first minute. So this is the point at which we got, uh, and there are still several functionalities which need to be implemented in order to fully obtain compliance uh, with the specification. The functionalities that need to be implemented uh, in particular are the uh, game over handling in the sense that right now we just have um, a control on the game over which was implemented at the, at the end of the last uh, coding session and this control <coughs> takes into account the number of taps and as the number of uh, the overall number of taps reaches 16 then a game over condition is detected and the game over function is invoked so far the game over function does nothing but uh, uh, disabling the timer in order to stop the time but on the other hand we need something else to be handled here in particular we want uh, the score achieved by the user to be compared with the best score achieved so far by the same user and uh, stored in the device. If the new score is uh, <coughs> overcomes the previous one, then we want the best score to be updated and uh, possibly the new best score to be shared uh, on social networks. So this is what we need to implement within the game over handling routine. On the other hand, there are also two other functionalities which need to be implemented, which are suggestions and hints. Suggestions and hints are not strictly required to uh, deliver a version of a flagship game which is compliant with the specification, because even if we do not have these functionalities uh, in, uh, implemented, we can play with the game, we can share our score with friends on social networks and we can compare our score not only with the one achieved by all the players playing with the same version of the game but also with the score achieved by all the players playing with all future versions of the game because the possible implementation of suggestions and hints will impact the maximum achievable score in such a way that uh, the current version which does not implement these functionalities will be just uh, harder as a game and possibly lead to the maximum achievable score while uh, once the suggestions and hint will be implemented using them will uh, uh, cost a penalty 
which can possibly reduce the maximum achievable score. Okay, so uh, the main purpose of this session, which is probably the last one before the official release of the Code Week edition of Flagship Game, is to handle Game Over. And to this purpose, we need to add two new elements to our interface. The first one is uh, um, in, actually we will implement uh, three. Uh, we will add three new interface elements. The first one is uh, <coughs> the um, an, an element that we already used in another screen, which is uh, the sharing on social networks that was used in the info screen and in the very first version of the game to invite people to join the crowd coding experiment. Right now, we will use the same element to share the best score on social networks. And then there will be two other elements. The first one used <coughs> to, um, to prompt the user and uh, the other one used to store the best score on the device. Let's start with the storage of the best score. We need to go to the designer to take a new interface element which is found under storage and is called TinyDB. We drag it to our interface and it appears in the list of non-visible components. Now we can go back to the blocks without configuring it because it has no parameters as you can see from here. So let's directly go to the block editor and see which new instructions are associated with it. TinyDB allows us to store tag value pairs. So this is the function that we can call to store a value and uh, the tag is a string while the value could be either a number or a string. So the tag will be in this case best score and the value stored will be <coughs> the best score achieved so far. I have to use it within the game over handler so let me just collapse this block to provide some free space to develop the game over handler in which I want to place this function here. But this function has to be invoked if and only if the current score exceeds the best, the previous best score. So to this purpose I will introduce a global variable called the best score. I initialize this to zero as usual. And then we will see how to handle it uh, at the beginning of a game. But now I have to compare my current score with the best score. So to this purpose, I take the best score, sorry, the score, and uh, I process it in order to take into account uh, time. Remember that time so far was uh, properly taken into account but just for visualization purposes. So we need to uh, either multiply or divide the current score by the time uh, to the minute or uh, after, to the seconds uh, to the first minute or after the first minute. And uh, to do so, I call the function 
which is called the adjust score, which is this one. And that's it. Now I'm ready to compare the score with the best score, assuming that the best score was uh, um, taken from the DB, that means from the value stored on the device uh, at the beginning of the game. And we should remember to do it uh, in uh, the new game function. So right now what I need is an if statement and this if statement will compare the current score with the with the best one. So I take the current score and I see if it is greater than the best score. If this is the case, then this is the new best score and I need to process it. Which means that I need to store the new value. And the new value will be this one. Then I have also to change the best score, assigning to it the value of the new score. And finally, I want also the label, which is used to show which is the best score to take the new value. Okay, so this is what we have to do at game over, but we need to do something at the beginning of the game. In particular, we need to take the best score from the DB, assuming that the user played the game several times before the current one. But on the other hand, we need also to handle the case in which the player is playing the game for the first time so that there are no previous values stored as best scores into the DB. And as you will see in a moment, there is a way of doing that automatically. So this is the new game function and within this new game function we can handle the best score functionality by using this function here and assigning the return value to the global variable called the best score. So notice that uh, this is a get value function which uh, is uh, invoked by passing the name of the tag that corresponds to the to the value that we want to read from the db and this is called best score in our case and this is a return value a default return value to be provided in case there is no entry called the best score or associated with the best score tag in our DB. So in our case we want it to return a zero, meaning that the best score was zero. That means the game was never played before. And then I want also the best score to be to be properly shown on the screen. So here I need to set 
the best value text to the best score. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, here we are. Okay, we have a previous best score just because I tried it just to make this test more meaningful because I want to see if we pass or not the best score so in this case I'm not doing better and the score is not updated then I go back I play the game again the best score is still the same and now I play it again oops sorry about that so let me start from scratch notice that I'm uh, using uh, the same name so even if uh, the application is different uh, the um, best score is stored in the emulated device uh, so it doesn't change so now I start with Poland let's see if I can do something better than before I don't think so And in fact, the score is not improved. Play the game again. And now I start from here. <laughs> I tapped on Switzerland, so this time I won't do anything better. Okay. Again, okay, now this is better, and nine hundred eighty four is my new best score. Okay, so it works. Now what I need to add is a functionality that prompts me, uh, so a pop-up window which appears in case of a best score or in any case at game over to tell me that the game is over, inviting me possibly to share the best score in case the new score is the best one achieved so far. Okay, let's see how to implement this functionality. Okay, we go here and we take social sharing and then we also introduce the another interface element which is called notifier. Let me see where it is. Here it is notifier good I call this element this notifier element uh, game over to remember that I'm using it to, to notify the game over Okay. Then I go back into the block editor. 
to see which new functions are associated with the new elements, with the new interface elements. Let's start with the notifier. And in the notifier, I find a function which is this one. I could, for instance, uh, um, define a pop up window that, uh, have several, that has several parameters to be specified. The first one is a title, for instance, game over. Then there is a message that could be like, uh, Congratulations, uh, this is your best score, or your best score is uh, with the actual. Uh, value of the best score and then two buttons uh, and uh, an option which is cancelable or not if uh, uh, cancelable is uh, cancelable is true then this means that there will be a default button to cancel the pop-up window without taking any action while the other actions could be for instance a restart to play another uh, match or share to share the best score in social networks. So let's take this element and try to use it to our purposes. And we need to uh, put it inside the inside the blocks which uh, implement the game over functionality which are somewhere the bottom okay let me find them okay here they are so in case of a best score i could trigger this pop up window the title of which could be just game over the message could be a join between the default message like uh, congratulations this is your best score so far and then we can put the actual score in the message in this way and then the two buttons could be play again or share and we can make it cancelable this is a pop-up window, so it's uh, like uh, an asynchronous element uh, because uh, once uh, the pop-up window uh, is shown, we have to wait uh, for the player to take an action. And to this purpose, if we go back uh, and see which are the other blocks made available within uh, this panel, we find this one which is when game over after choosing and there is a local variable which is choice so this means that this block is um, contains a code the execution of which is triggered by the choice of the user which is either play again or share so we can use an if statement inside this block
and uh, if the um, choice so we have to uh, compare two texts so we should say that if choice equals this one sorry this one which is play again then this is like a restart and uh, we can just invoke new game procedures new game else since there are only two choices we don't need to specify which is the other choice because it is for sure share then we can use the sharing which is this one and we can add the message which is once again a join of several elements which are some standard message like for instance uh, hi my base score is and uh, let me add this text here okay. I just got my best score Flagship U. Notice that there are some constraints in this message because in the specification file we decided to have not only the score but also the uh, flagship EU uh, hashtag and the, um, then an hashtag representing uh, the, uh, the type of um, of scoring, uh, sorry, of scoring or sorting criterion uh, used uh, in this match and then the score. So I could say something like, uh, hey, I've just got my best score at flagship EU. Then another hashtag which could be alpha, which stays for uh, alphabetical order. And then we can combine this string with the actual score which is the global best score okay we can try to see if it works. Okay, here we are. Play the game, Austria, Cyprus. Let's try to do something reasonable. And then we have it. Okay. Anything else? Okay, congratulations. This is your best score so far. That's true, so play again, share, cancel.
So play again should work because the functionality was already there. Let's test the share. Okay, uh, I have just uh, two options here because uh, this is uh, an emulator where there are uh, no um, no accounts uh, um, for uh, entering social media but if you try this on your uh, on your uh, device uh, you should uh, find your all uh, possible uh, social media to which uh, you are registered and uh, here is the message hey i've just got my best score at flagship eu alpha and this is the score okay i think this is uh, good enough as a functionality what we need to test is what happens if we do not achieve our best score. Uh, we can restart the game and play it again uh, without achieving a good score. So let me tap on Turkey first so that... Uh, oops. The instability of the emulator does not help. Okay, let us see if we can test it without incurring. Okay, great. So you see that no pop up window appears. I think that it is better to have some pop up window at game over in any case, saying just game over, uh, play it again, or cancel. So we can. Add another functionality, which um, could be implemented within the else statement here. And in this case, we just need uh, uh, actually not this one, but another simpler version of this, having just one option. And it's this one, just uh, uh, possibly a message in the title. Yeah, why not? Just a message in the title, because if we um, do cancel this pop-up window, then we go back to the game, or otherwise, no, probably it's better to have uh, at least uh, one choice, which is, uh, yeah which is the play again. So let me see. Probably it's better to use this one. Mm, yes, which is play again. Yeah, instead of cancel, we could have the play again. Okay, so we can take this from here. Title, the message. Sorry, this is not your best score. And then just play again as an option. Let's see if it works. Here is the app. Play the game. Sorry, this is not your best score. Play again. Oops, I forgot to implement the play again. So in this case uh, I'm uh, not uh, 
uh, implementing it uh, uh, okay so in order to implement it I have to put the handle uh, which is like uh, the previous one that I showed which is the play again here and um, this play again should look like this one and why it is not uh, handled let me see probably because this is like a cancel this is not used as a choice but just as a cancel so if I put uh, instead of this I could use this one where this is the message this is the game over title this is not used at all and let me try again I decided to instead of testing uh, the block that I that I added I decided to add just the simplest one because uh, we don't know we don't need to to handle uh, any choice in case of just a game over without a best score so I use this alert and uh, let's see what's the effect uh, let me take the last version that I downloaded which is this one and let's try it okay play the game so we have to uh, make uh, a run without uh, achieving the best score which is not difficult <laughs> not to achieve the best score okay and uh, this is the effect so if I press somewhere then the notice disappears and they can restart the game okay that's it so we have a, a fully playable version of our flagship game this is the version that will be released tomorrow so there are no suggestions with our the next value to be shown here no hints and no other sorting criteria to be selected so those three improvements uh, are left uh, open for uh, our next sessions that will be possibly conducted either during uh, the rest of code week or uh, after code week because we want to make uh, every week uh, a code week i hope you enjoyed these tutorials and uh, please keep uh, uh, working on this crowd coding experiment to make your own version of the flagship game and tell your friends to play with it and possibly challenge them.